Okay, so I'm gonna get you up to speed. And just a reminder, when you make this event, if you plan on using the preset um, characters that they put in your database, um, you want this character to reflect this character. So that when we switch this on, this character has joined your party because this character will be joining your party. So for this event, what we did was we added us new music to start as soon as we came in because we have it on auto run. And then we move, set move root for this event to move down the number of spaces it needs to get to your player. For this one, it was, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I did eight or nine over here. Um, and then had them turn towards the player in case they need to do that. Um, and wait for moves completion. And then. And then we will have her say something about. Thanks for rescuing me. Oops. she's going to be like, can I join your quest? And if you want, we can go ahead and do the yes or no show choices. So when you say yes, go ahead and change party member and we'll turn on our water, water Dorothy to add. And we can insert a little sound effect to make it all super cool. M-E, right? And we'll say water, and let's join your party. Okay? And when no, we'll say, and we will turn on control switch. Oh, sorry, self control switch. What am I doing? Self control switch. Because we're going to have to use A for the other one. Okay, so we had a water guardian joins. So if A is on, this goes away. And if uh, B is on, she stays here. So if we say no, if you hit, if you go up and talk to her again after that, she'll say, I wish I could have joined you. Okay, and one last thing we need to add in our commands um, to stop the music that we started playing. Otherwise it will keep playing. So you can do um, fade out BGM and you can, t you can pick how long you want it to take the uh, fade out. I'm going to go with 10 seconds. That seems good. <clears throat> And you can either put it here in your self control switch A. Actually, no, no, you cannot put that there. Never mind. I take that back because you need to push an action button for that to happen. So just cut that from here. Put it in win. Yes. We'll put it right above control switch A. So paste it there. And then do the same thing for win. No. You're going to want the music to turn off. So we're going to put it right above switch B. Oops, what am I doing? Paste. There you go. So that way, no matter which option you have, the music fades out and it goes reverts back to whatever you have chosen for the music to be. And I think that's good. So that should work. That's super simple and easy. Let's check it out, make sure it works.
Okay, so occasionally, just so you guys know, I've just dealt with a nice little glitch that you're going to come across these sometimes. You'll have nothing wrong with what you have. You'll just, for some reason, what kept happening to me when I was trying to play this is you would end up going into this new map and it would just bypass all of this and go to this, this um, event tab so that I'd have to walk up and then she'd just say whatever I had here. I think I had something different before, like I would like to be with you or whatever. Anyway, after playing with it for a while and realizing that there was nothing wrong, I deleted the whole thing and redid it and it works fine. So just a little, you know, friendly reminder that sometimes your events might have a glitch in them and you just, honestly, it's sad, but you have to delete it, redo what you just did and it will work. This is the third time that's happened to me. I mean, check first thoroughly for mistakes, and when you troubleshoot, some hints, always check your set, your set move route is on the thing that's supposed to be, you know, moving. If you, for instance, the first time I put this through, this event, or this uh, move route was set to my player, and uh, they can't move down because they just came onto the screen and it's auto run, so it's, it locks it up automatically. Nothing will happen. Um, another thing to check is to make sure that your switches are on or off. Um, and so those are just some helpful things. And I always check your triggers, you know, those kind of things. Switches, triggers, and what you have things addressed to. Either that this event or a different event or your character. Yeah. Okay. So we did this, you ended up getting them, you're going to go back to your runes, and then your character's going to go back to your fire fort, and now there's this guy hanging out that was keeping you from meeting your next party member, because he was really busy thinking about stuff and being concerned about whatever was happening in the runes, but you took care of that. So we're going to go ahead and do the event, finish the event that we started earlier here.